Hi, good evening to you both. Yeah, it's been 10 days since police say Travis James was killed, stabbed to death outside of a convenience store here in New Haven. Now today, his family members stood alongside officers here at police headquarters, begging the community to put an end to this violence. That was my nephew. I helped raise him. Teresa Clark's life was turned upside down 10 days ago when her nephew, 47 year old Travis James, was murdered. This has been a tremendous loss for our family. The family wearing his favorite color now supporting the three children James leaves behind. He would not be able to see them graduate. Get married. And he also leaves behind a grieving mother, sisters, and numerous hurt family members. New Haven police say on June 1st, just after 1 a.m., James was dropped off at Yale's St. Raphael's campus with stab wounds. He died a short time later, and police set their sights on the crime scene right outside Sam's food store on Whaley Ave. Now a memorial for James. Detective secured video evidence capturing parts of the incident, still images of the suspect. Those images were blasted on social media between tips from the community and a quick thinking officer who recognized the suspect. Police identified him as 48 year old Antoine Mike arresting him the next day. We got a lot of calls and we got people to turn make this guy turn himself in and he came and met me Sunday night at the police station. Those calls making a difference in the search for the suspect. That's important too, and I thank the community members that saw that us getting him as quick as possible was, was important. Helping the James family as they embark on a long and difficult journey to justice. Even though he has been arrested, it's still, it, it will still be a long process. We still have to go to court. We have to go to court to see our, the killer. It was a senseless murder, and it needs to stop. And I don't even have any answers for this but I just know it needs to stop. Now, Antoine Mike has been charged with murder. He is being held on a $2 million bond. We're live here in New Haven tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.